All right, guys, uh, we're just going to start installing some of the required plugins and assets we need. First stone would be Paragon Greystone. Let's add that to the project. That we have the free fantasy weapon samples. Now, last one would be the AGR Pro plugin to install to the engine. I already have it installed in mine, but you would just choose your engine of choice and install it. Uh, just so you guys also know, I am using Unreal Engine 5.0.3. It's like everything is installed. I might cut it out here while this project loads. All right, project is now loaded. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is go to your um, edit plugins and enable AGR Pro. Go ahead and restart that now. Okay, now that we got this loaded with all our assets, uh, if we open up the concept folder, uh, we could double check the Paragon is installed and this weapon pack has our weapon meshes that we plan on using. From there, let's, uh, one of the first things we're going to do is get the animations. So that, uh, Let's go to content, characters, heroes, uh, mannequin, animations, locomotion, and let's create a new folder in here. Call this uh, sword. And with that, what we want to do is go to the unarmed folder, and we want to duplicate the unarmed animation layer for the male and female. Both so if I hit Control D, duplicate them here at the bottom. So now let's grab both, drag it to the sword folder that we just created. Let's go ahead and rename them. Let's set up arm, we'll call it sword. Do the same thing for the female version. So we got that. Now let's go get the animation we want from Greystone. Uh, we're going to make use of the animation sharing feature. So for that, let's go back to content, characters, heroes, mannequin, UE4, meshes. And we're going to Double click the skeleton. And right here, we will have a assets details window. If you don't see it, you just go to window, asset details. And what you want to do is add the gray stone skeleton as a compatible skeleton. And it should be one of the first ones, but just look for gray stone. That just save and uh, you can close it. And then what you want to do is go to UE4 to UE5 Manny. And here we can start previewing the animations and verify that the sharing is working correctly. Here you can see most of these animations right here are from Greystone. So with that, we can uh, test on them out. Like here's the attack pass animation. Just slow it down, make sure there's Nothing wrong with it. And as you can see, the <laughs> hand is kind of all over the place. But for now, for this tutorial, we're not going to worry too much about it. So you can use like any animation packs of your choice. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to go with the attack A slow. 
So I don't think we'll know if that's slow where's the hand near the end, but that's fine. But besides that, you can leave all the settings as is, and you want to hit export, and we'll put it into the sword folder that we created. Locomotions, locomotion, it's over. That. Now we have our tech animation. We can hit save. And what we need to do now is create. Oops. Okay. Animations, locomotions. Lord, uh, you want to create an animation montage. Call that the sword attack one. So save that. And you want to open this up, save, uh, change the default slot to upper body. So save that and you can reopen it to verify it's there. All right, and then from here, we want to get some notifies ready. Uh, we're making use of AGR, right? So we need the AGR attack notify state. And what this is, is the range of when to activate the trace when we swing the weapon. So I'm just gonna start somewhere like right here. Five, we'll end it somewhere around here. Save that. So every time when we sing the weapon within that range, we'll activate activate the trace. That we should have our animation ready. Next thing we need to do. Uh, I'll probably stop it here and get the next part going in another video. See you guys soon.